The question five is the relationships between the central angle, the circumscribed angles, and we solve for the perimeters and other values. Here we have been given some figures. You can see this is the central angle and these are two tangents, so it's 90 degree. What we need to solve is measure of BDC is given over here. This angle is 12x. We, the measure of angle A is also given to be 4x plus 4. And what is the measure of angle A? Now here, these two opposite angles are, when you sum them, will be equal to 180 degrees. So you can just do 12x plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 180 degree. Directly put this in the calculator, you'll get the answer. Or you can do it 16x equals 176. Just divide 16 both the sides, you will get the answer. You can see here. So that's how we easily solve it up. Uh, 11 is the answer. Now what about this? The same thing. They have given you the angle P that is 15x plus 8 and angle R is 10x minus 3. Add them up and they will be equal to 180 degree. So the answer over here would be, okay, I forgot to tell you the measure of angle A is not found out. We just found out X. So X is 11. They have asked to find the measure of angle A. So put this 11 back over here. So it'll be 4 times 11 plus 4. 44 plus 4 is 48. Same way over here. Add this and this. That must be equal to 180 degrees. You can directly put this in the calculator. You will get this x is equal to 8. By pressing alpha x, you can substitute in the calculator. Next, what you do is, you have to just substitute this back and find the required angle. So it is 10 times 7 minus 3. 70 minus 3 is 67. So that's, that's why it's 67 degrees. That's how we can easily solve them. Now here we have circumscribed uh, angles. Here a polygon is circumscribed around a circle and they have asked to find the perimeter of each polygon. Now this polygon uh, is circumscribed around a circle so there are certain properties it must follow. Now if this part over here till this middle it's 13 then from year to year it will be equal. They are congruent lines because it's the tangents. 13 over here also it will be 17, 10. Add up all these sides that will be your polygon. Over here we have 3, so this is 3. 1 is there, over here it will be 1. See, till over here it's 3, this part is 1. 6, 6 and 2 and 2. So add them up, you will get the answer. It's 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24 over here. Same way you can do the others. So these are the answers. Here it's 2 and 2, 4 and 4, 6 and 6. Just count them out, put in the calculator any method, you will get the answers. What about these problems here? Again, we need to find the perimeter, but they have also given an x value, unknown value. So what you can do is, we know this is 18. This is 18 over here. 18, sorry. This is x, so this is x. We can tell 18 plus x is equal to 26. So x is how much? x is basically 26 minus this part, minus this line, 18. So that will be your answer. Here we'll get 8. And then what about the perimeter? Now we know this is 8, 8, 18, 18, 14, 14. Same thing over here. This much is 8 and this is 2x. So 8 equals 2x. So x is equal to 4. And then we know the entire side is 16 here. And this is also 16. Here we know this is a squared, right? So you can use the squared perimeter formula. It's 4 times side. 4 times 16. It'll be 64. So this is the perimeter. You can use the formula or you can add them all up. That's also fine. Okay. So that's the answer. Over here, they have done, anyways, they have just done 8 by 8 because they are counted 8, 8s are there. But the easier way is the perimeter formula. If you don't know the formula, just add them up. So that's how we easily solve these problems. And here, please try it by yourselves and then look for the video explanation. 8 is given as so much. This is x plus 2. So x plus 2 equals 8. It will be x is equal to 6. Now just add up all these sides. This is 9 and 9, 5 and 5, 8 and 8, 4 and 4. If you add them all up, or you can just do 8 times 2 plus 2 times 4 plus 8, 9 times 2 plus 5 times 5. That will be the answers. This is a very easy topic. I hope you have understood it well. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very soon.